What's up, YouTubers? Today's a, a bonus, a bonus video. We got a bonus video. Um, talking about data only sales. Um, the reason why I'm talking about data only sales is because I don't think a lot of people know they exist. I don't think a lot of people think they're worth using, and you know, they think, well, without talking text, it's kind of pointless because you can't call or text. But data only sales give you more access to the internet, like more access to um, your applications without having a actual, I would say an actual plan, a phone service plan, um, excluding the, you know, unlimited talking text or a certain amount of talking text um, usage or limits. Um, and, and there are um, data only limitations and such like that but if you have unlocked devices I got the 5x and the 6p both unlocked devices which means like I could put any of these data only sim cards in these two phones so I can I can use these without talking text and, and not only that I did drop a video on how to create a Google voice number um, things that sort you can always do the VOIP. Um, you can use you can use your data to call and text. Although a lot of people will complain and cry, or it's using up my data. La, 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 la. Well, you do have Wi-Fi too, so I don't know, man. People people have uh, just such a closed mind about things. This is the future. Um, Freedom Pop has a data only sale. Project Fi has a data only sale, and T-Mobile even has a data only sale. Now, to be honest, the best, the best one, the best data only sale, I have to be honest with you guys. It's the Freedom Pop one. Um, why I say that is, I can get up to two gigabytes of free data using this sale, this data only sale card. And of course, yeah, I have to do some some workarounds with the Freedom Pop friends, e inviting people via email and things like that, or doing special offers. To earn data for free uh, With the Project 5 You gotta have the Project 5 Service which means you have to At least do the basic plan which is $30 A month um, Unlimited talking text and then 1 gig Of data so if you didn't Want your main line to use up the data You can get a data only Sell card for free through the Project 5 phone service just order One through the 5 um, service Online through your 5 account it's free You get it in like Five days, set it up, activate it, put it in like a tablet or another phone, something like that. And T Mobile, uh, well, actually, T Mobile's and Freedom Pop's basic uh, data only service is 200 megabytes each. So I had ordered this T Mobile, and yeah, I didn't really do a video about it, but I, I still got it and I did. Throw around a couple of uh, picks about it, but the simple fact is that the SIM card holds 200 megabytes each month for free for life. So you can put in uh, an iPad, an Android tablet, um, possibly a, a, a Windows Surface, um, Surface Pro, something like that. If it has LTE or a SIM card, and maybe a Chromebook. But the simple fact is that you have free data for life between. This T-Mobile and the Freedom Pop joint. Now, Project Five is not free data for life. Um, Project Five, you have to at least spend ten dollars a month on one gigabyte of data. But like I said, to me, the 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 better advantage is the Freedom Pop one. You get two gigs free, free each month. Um, and then with T-Mobile, it's two hundred megabytes free each month. But like I said, with Project Five, you have to spend monthly. But the purpose of data sims is, is pretty much to keep connected, um, use your apps without having to have an actual phone service and um, without actually having to dish out e any more money. Uh, like I said, the, these two are like $10 on Amazon. Well, no, Walmart sell these online for 10 bucks. You go to walmart.com, get this for $10. And you can actually pick this up at store. I picked this up at store, got it for $10. That's all I spent on the SIM card. All I spent on this SIM card was 10 bucks. Two gigs, free for life. 
Project Five, you can actually get that SIM card free. So those are the the big differences, the big advantages. But what I found out is that the Freedom Pop runs on AT and T and T Mobile um, via data roaming. So if you got your data roaming set up and you you happen to lose signal with AT and T, I think I think it'll merge to T Mobile. I'm not I'm not sure about that. I haven't I haven't been around uh, places where I will lose signal. So the the AT and T uh, network with Freedom Pop. It works. It works great. Okay, I haven't lost any signal, anything like that. Now with the Project Five, you are running on T-Mobile network with the data only SIM. Uh, it's totally different from the uh, the main SIM card that you would put in your Nexus device, which switch from Sprint and your cellular and T-Mobile. And of course, you know you got the regular T-Mobile. So you got two SIMs that use T-Mobile network. Well, actually, these all use T-Mobile network, but one will uh, use data room. So, that's pretty much it. And, and like I said, this will all work on unlocked devices, whether it's an iPhone, an Android device. Um, I mainly got the Nexus phone, so they all will work on this Nexus device, of course. And, I mean, my experience with all three of them, I used all three of them already. Um, my experience with the data-only sims, I don't know if the speeds are different versus the, the main sim cards. But if they're running all on the same network, getting the LTE or 4G LTE coverage, they're all using the same networks and running on the same towers. There shouldn't be a real big difference in the speed test. And I'm not going to even get into that. Um, I have a few old speed tests you guys can check out. I would have brought in my at and Go SIM card, but the simple fact is that um, that's really not a data-only SIM. I mean, yeah, I can I can add on data, but it's that one I have. It's not really a data only sale, and that's one reason why I didn't drop it in this video. Uh, but yeah, th this is why I, I was preaching to people online about having an unlocked device that's not carrier bloated, that's not controlled by the carriers, that comes from the main manufacturer who made the phone, or um that that sold it to like a retailer unlocked and like like places like best buy um so data only sales like i said data only sales you really don't need a phone service you just need internet you just need data and you can still use your messaging apps uh you can still watch videos and all that it just depends on how much data you really need and i was just talking about the the basic plans people i wasn't talking about unlimited um data i don't think there's actual unlimited data only SIM card out there if it, if it is I think T-Mobile might have it but right now we're just talking about the basic data only pl plans that you can get right now that that are out there if you didn't know so uh, if you have any more questions about the data only SIM cards uh, this is not a battle it, it's more of a I wouldn't say comparison con well I guess it is comparison contrast but I'm just giving you an overall view of some data sims that are out there that maybe people uh, are not, you know, familiar with. So there you have it. T-Mobile has one, Project Fire has one, and Freedom Pop has one. If you guys have any more questions, leave a comment in the comment section underneath the description. I'll let you boy. I'll take you out, guy. Deuces.